I'm going to explain two of the four diagnostics effects in this tutorial. To follow along, go get the Gettysburg unedited WAV file inside the working files narrations subfolder right there. Let's take a look at those four effects. Go to effects, diagnostics, there they are. They're all process effects, which means they work only if you apply them directly to the clip. They will not work inside the effects rack. What makes these guys different from other effects is that they don't appear with a dialog box that floats above the clip. Rather, their properties appear inside a diagnostics panel over here. So if I were to click any one of these four, that diagnostics panel would open with all four of these being available inside that panel. Let me show you one other way to get there. Just go to Window, Diagnostics, and that opens up that panel right there. And there are those four effects. We're going to work on Delete, Silence, and Mark Audio this time. So let's just go to Delete, Silence. And then there are some default settings, which says you have to define what silence is. You know, when is something considered silent? Well, in this case, silence is considered anything less than 38 decibels below full scale. So if you look over here, 38 decibels below full scale is like, you know, right down here someplace. So it's pretty quiet, but it's not absolutely silent. And then it has to last for at least 140 milliseconds. You can decide, hmm, maybe I need to change that, but let's just go with the defaults here and see what happens with this Gettysburg address. Where you know I've got these big silent areas here, one, two, three, four, five, six silent areas. And let's see what happens if we scan it. So we take the default settings and click scan. And it says there are 131 problems detected. That means there are 131 problems that are areas that are considered to be silent. And you can see them by just dragging this up. Now on your interface, you may see this thing already, but for mine, because we're kind of low resolution here, we got to pull it up. And each one of these is considered to be a problem area. Well, there's the first one. It lasts for 3.5 seconds. That's that guy there. But it's picking up things that are, you know, two tenths of a second, which are these little pauses inside here. And I don't want to get rid of them. So I want to change the settings to more suit what we have here. So I'm going to say if delete silence or define silence, let's say if it lasts for, let's say, more than a half a second. So I'll type in 500 milliseconds. That's a half a second. And then I think silence, if it drops below 38, that's fine. That's still pretty quiet. This little guy is giving an exclamation point saying, you've changed things, so make sure you scan it again. Okay, so we will scan it again. And now it says 41 problems detected. Well, that's still way, way too much. I need to trim it down more because it's probably finding these little gaps over here. So let's take it up to, you know, like maybe that much time. And now we'll try it again. Now I got 21 problems. Well, maybe I need to take the signal something below 38. I'll take it when it's really much quieter, when it's really, really quiet. Let's try that. Now we're down to six problems. One, two, three, four, five, six. Those six areas right there. So we've now identified the six obvious areas that are silent. So now what do we do? Well, we can delete all of them. Holy cow, it's going to make everything just smacked up against each other with no pauses. I don't want to do that. Or I can take the other option from this fix by dropdown list. We'll go to shorten the silence. How short do I want the silence to be? 100 milliseconds is just a tenth of a second. Really, it should be a little bit longer than that. So I'm going to bring the silence up to, let's say, something like half a second, something like that. And now we say delete all. And now it's changed those places where there are gaps before. It's going to go like this. Two nations, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are in... Perfect. So it took care of all areas without us having to do them one at a time. And it's shortened them down to a reasonable time that allows for just a kind of appropriate pause between those breaks when I recorded that audio. So that is how you delete silence and do it in a customized way. I'm going to undo that by pressing Control or Command Z. And we're going to go to the Mark Audio. It might as well be called Mark Silence because it's the same thing. You can do the same kind of settings, but instead of deleting it, you just say Scan It. And then you say Mark All. And it shows all the areas that you defined as silent. Well, let's change that. Let's do what we did before and say, you know, let's find if it's more than, let's say, 750 milliseconds. Let's say if it's you know, quieter than like 70 or something like that. And I will say scan it again. Now we'll say mark them again. Oh, it adds markers. So we better clear the markers first. And you think, okay, we just clear marked, right? What that does is just clears the list, the mark list down here. It doesn't clear the markers. So I'm going to go Control or Command Z a couple times to get rid of those markers. And now I'm going to say, let's scan it again. There we go. And how many did we get this time? Seven. And now let's mark those. And now we can see those obvious places that we might want to trim. And they've identified them for us. And if we just go like this, 
and it'll allow us to then mark those and then we can maybe shrink these down a little bit like this and decide you know, how long do we really want to make them and then start doing our editing. So here it's a little more refined because we mark it and then we make the next decision as to how much we want to remove or even if we want to remove the silence. So that's how you use those two diagnostic effects, the mark audio and delete silence diagnostic effects.